Oh. Hello and welcome back to the final episode of the Canning Games. Today is the day you've been waiting for. We will feature the launching of our cat as well as the reflection of the Canning Games. When we launched our cannon, unfortunately, it did not fire. We realized while watching some of our classmates fire their cannons that we needed something inside the cannon to create pressure, which we didn't have. When thinking about it afterwards, we realized we could have put a lid from one of the tennis balls in and it would most likely would have launched. As you can see from the video, when we did try to fire our cannon, there was backdraft and smoke filled the cannon. Right after the cannon didn't fire, I removed the ball and sprayed the cannon with water. After launching the cannon, we wanted to talk about the positives and negatives of our cannon design. Some of the positives were that the angle we chose was good, and we thought our length of the barrel was good. Also, after the launch, our cannon did not collapse because it was sturdy and could stand on its own. Obviously, our cannon had a few negative parts, too, because it didn't launch. One major negative was that we didn't have air pressure in our cannon. This little mistake could have been avoided if we had put one of the lids in the cannon, and it probably would have fired. Another issue with our cannon was that the hole for the match was a little too big. After going through and looking at our design, we thought that we had chosen the best possible launch angle for the cannon, even though our cannon did not fire. Some issues we had with construction included being, not being able to cut the tops well. This was very difficult as well as time consuming. We also felt we should have used the lids to create pressure. <laughs> Overall, our group enjoyed this project. Some of the things we liked about this project was doing the construction of the cannon, using teamwork, getting to be creative and making our vlogs, as well as the math routine. We thought being able to tie in skills we learned from other classes was interesting and definitely a new experience. Some of the things we disliked about the project was using Windows Movie Maker. Sometimes it was difficult to work with it and it took a lot of time to figure out how to use it. Another thing we disliked was having to write scripts and we knew what we wanted to say a lot of the time but didn't know how to explain it. Besides construction, there was also a lot of science behind how our cannons worked. One example is Galesox's gas law when actually launching the cannon. Galesox's gas law comes into play because temperature and pressure are both key factors in how the cannon launches. Galesox's law states that when you have a constant volume and fixed amount of gas, temperature and pressure are directly proportional. This basically means that as the air pressure in the cannon went up, the temperature went up as well. This is why as we put in the match in the cannon, the temperature in the barrel increased, which should have caused the pressure to increase if we had constructed that part, constructed that part correctly. The equation for the combustion reaction when we launched the cannon was C2H6O, which produces 2CO2 plus 3H2O. Also in this project, osmotic pressure would have been used if we had added a pressure plate. By adding a pressure plate, it forces the air through. Thanks for watching!